Welcome to Unfold Data Science friends. This is Aman here and I am a data scientist. In this video, I am going to explain you the concept of word embedding, how to implement that using Python. So I will explain you how do you write the Python code for implementing a word embedding model using word 2 vec and using Keras. Before going into the steps of model implementation, I want a little refresher for you on word embedding. So why we do word embedding or why we need word embedding. So first of all to provide a meaningful vector representation of the word. Okay. So as we know machine learning algorithms cannot process word it needs numbers. So by doing word embedding we represent a word by collection of a number in terms of vector that is word embedding and this is an improvement over frequency based approaches. So I have explained in my theoretical videos the frequency based approaches like word count, uh, bag of words, those kind of approaches, right? So it's an improvement because it tries to capture the context of the word as well. Okay. So what is the working principle of word embedding? So word embedding's working principle is it tries to find the meaning of a word based on what is before the word and what is after the word. Okay. So that is what I'm writing here while training meaning of the word is learned by analyzing its neighbors. So that is the internal fundamental concept of how word embedding works. Okay. Now what are the uses or how we can use word embedding? So we can use word, word embedding in various ways. What are the different ways? First way is using pre-trained model. So I'm sure you would have heard of word to wake and globe. So in my last video, I was explaining you the theory behind word to wake, how word to wake works, right? So this is the first way you can use a word embedding method that is you know you can use a pre-trained word to work model. The way to is train your own embedding using word to work library in Python. This also you can do using your own vocab. Okay. And third way is train your own embedding using Keras embedding method. So in this video we will see all these methods one by one how to do it. Okay. So first of all let us try with option two. So what is option two? Option two is training on word to work model. So for example, if I have sentences like this, so this is my first sentence or you can think it as of a first document or first PDF file. Okay. So this is the tokenized words of that document or PDF files. Hello, this is Python training by Aman. The second document says, hello, this is Java training by Aman. The third document like this. So here we have one, two, three, four documents and I'm calling that tokenized sentences to keep it simple. So these are my sentence tokens. Okay. So what I do next, I just import from gensim.models. If you can see here, I'm importing what to vec. Okay. When I import from gensim.model what to vec, I'm just ignoring some warnings here. So to this what to vec, I'm giving tokenized sentences as input. Okay. And if you can see here, I'm giving minimum count is equal to one, which means take all the words which occurs even once. If I make it two, then in this whole vocab, the words which is occurring minimum two times will be considered. Here I'm saying consider all the words, even if it occurs once. Okay. Now to summarize this model, if I have to summarize this model, as you can see, it is a word to work model with vocab size of 14. So what is this vocab size? These are very important concepts to understand guys. So in my document collection, in my four documents, there are 14 unique words. Okay. So the vocab size becomes 14. Okay. What is this size 100? So as I was telling you in my last video, the concept of word to vec is it will represent a word as a vector of n dimensions. So size 100 means all these 14 individual words will have 100 values. Okay. That vector will have 100 values. For example, if I take a word dog, then dog can be is animal can be 0 0.9, is black can be 0 0.8, can bark, this feature can be 0 0.7 like this. Okay. So all the 14 words in the vocab will be rated in these 100, you know, features we can say. And alpha is another parameter that we take here that is not very important in this context. Now moving on to the words. What are the words in our vocab? So as I told you, all the unique words that will be there in our vocab will be our words. So 
these are all the 14 unique words that we are talking about okay now what is the purpose of what to vec or what is the purpose of word embedding all these words will be represented as a vector of size 100 okay so let us see some of these words how it has been represented for example i am printing here my model training so i want to see the vector of this word training so after the model training the word training has been represented like this now you can see here there are 100 values okay 100 values means the word training has been rated on 100 different features and these are the values okay similarly if you change it to for example hello then hello will will be rated on 100 features and then you will see 100 different values okay so this is how the word to vec library has encoded all the words into 100 different features okay now what all we can do with those features so if i come here and say my model dot most similar data science so i am giving a word data science and i want to see which are the most similar words from this data science word so obviously what will happen is the vector of data science or data for example will be compared with the vector of other words and whichever comes closer that will be you know counted as the closest word for example here training is coming close this space maybe it is coming near to data in most of the sentences right so this way it works right so the vector of data will be compared with vector of all other words and then these scores are coming okay now what happens if i give a word which is not there in my vocabulary for example if i give a word like laptop okay so what will happen here is what will happen here is it will just tell me that word is not there in the vocab okay so you see there is an error and in this error you can see word laptop is not there in the vocab so there is a very big limitation of this method guys here the the vocab or the model has been trained on these words only and hence model is capable of identifying these words only model is not able to identify any new word that is the disadvantage of option 2 when you train your own word to vec model if you have a very rich library then maybe you, you can go ahead with your own training but sometimes it becomes little difficult to get the meaningful results from your own word to vec trained model okay that is about your own training now my question to you is my task to you is comment me how you can solve a document classification problem using ever concept so what i mean by that is here i am giving four sentences as input right now imagine this sentence talks about python this sentence talks about java this sentence talks about data science and so on and so forth so tomorrow if if i give you a new sentence for example i say you this is the python 3.7 version so can you give me a classification model saying this sentence talks about python so i am talking about a classification use case here my question to you is write me in comment what will be your approach i am not telling you to code for me i am just telling you write me in comment what will be your approach to solve a document classification problem using this concept what to make concept okay now let's move to part two of this video now in part two i will walk you through option three that is without what to make how can you create your own embedding layer using keras embedding okay so all of you know keras is a deep learning model i mean deep learning framework so here if you see i am importing keras dot preprocessing one hot this, is, this, this gives you a one hot representation of the word pad sequences sequential dense flatten i'll show you what all these things do okay but first thing is i am defining my own document here if you can see i am saying hello how are you is my first sentence how are you is my second sentence how are you doing is my third sentence okay fourth sentence is i am doing great fifth is i am doing good and sixth is i am good okay remember guys i am training my own word embedding model from scratch here so just pay attention here okay so my attention my uh, sentence has or my vocab has six different documents to keep it simple six different sentences okay i am also attaching a label here if you see i am creating an array i am saying 111000 if you see carefully all these things are asking to someone how they are feeling and all these things are answering to someone 
how somebody is feeling right so i'm just calling these three sentences as class 1 and these three sentences as class 2 and that is the reason i have written three ones and three zeros here i'm just assigning class to these sentences okay now how do we go about training our own embedding model let's see so i'm setting a vocab size of 30 here if you can see so the vocab size of 30 means in the previous example you saw there were 100 dimensions right here i want my vocab size or my dimension size to be 30 only okay and if you see here i am encoding my uh my sentence levels right i am encoding my sentence so sent is my sentence that is the input sentence here if you can see i am encoding this in one hot encoding let me run this and i'll show you what it is doing okay so i'm saying one hot i in my vocab size for i in sentence okay print encoded sentence if you can see the result here guys all the words in this particular vocab in this particular combination of the sentences right have been assigned a number okay have been assigned a number how do we know that for example this number how right it has been assigned 2 now the corresponding vector for this particular sentence is this vector okay so hello how are you has been represented as 28 8 27 17 17 which means that the word how is you know named or the word how is understood as the eighth word of the vocab okay the word r is understood as 27th word in this 30 word vocab okay so all these numbers will be below 30 if you see now if how is 8 then in the second vector how should be 8 should be the first number that is what we can see here in the third vector 8 should be the first number that is what we can see here similarly this representation is called one hot representation where we are just assigning an individual number to all these words and converting these words into the vector this is called a one hot encoding of these vectors that is the purpose of this one hot now we want to train a deep learning model we want to train a neural network here so what i want is the size of all my vectors should be same okay so if you can see here the size of this vector is 3 the size of this vector is 4 so i want all the size to be 5 just to be on the safer side so that is where pad underscore sequences will help me so i am just saying pad sequences encoded sent max length is equal to length and padding is equal to pre which means if you see size less than 5 then just pad a zero in front to make it 5 1 0 2 0 how many ever zeros needed so here in the first vector 1 0 is needed in the second vector the size was 3 hence 2 0 were needed and similarly so on and so forth now we have these sentences six sentences in same size same length and we already know what is their classes okay now i will go ahead and train a neural network model on this okay so the first thing defining a sequential model the second thing i am just defining an embedding layer if you see because i will be doing word embedding model here and then my vocab size is the size of what is the dimension of my uh, vocabulary and then 8 is the my input dimension input length is equal to max length so max length in our case was with what we have padded right so we have padded with 5 so input length will be 5 right because all the vectors are 5 in size similarly mod my model dot add flatten dense one activation is equal to sigmoid because our target variable is categorical in nature hence activation function at the output layer is sigmoid okay this is a very simple neural network guys so now i will just run this i will compile this model with an optimizer and with a loss function okay and then let me train this model with 30 epochs to see how it is training okay so if you can see here 30 epochs are running and in the final we are getting since it's a very small data we are getting close of and uh, you know 100% accuracy the important thing to understand here is how do you use this model in practical scenario right so guys we started with some sentences here so this is the same task i have given to you to write me in comment with respect to what to work right here we are training a model from scratch okay so we trained our model using these sentences now imagine we have two new sentences i am explaining you the prediction part okay so first sentence is how are you suman so i am just writing writing a name here okay and second is i am good 
okay so what you have seen before this this should be classified as class 1 and this should be classified as class 0 right that is how we have defined our training set all the questions kind of statements we are putting in 1 and all the answers we are putting in 0 right so but one thing to understand here is we need to supply the data in right format okay so this is my sentences the first thing we should do is one hot encoding of these sentences so let me do the one hot encoding one hot encoding the same way it happens and then obviously i have to maintain the same length for example in this case i am just maintaining a length of that max length 5 so it should be 5 basically i have written 4 length of 5 words okay and then to my model right to my model i am saying predict class okay so the name of my model is model or my model let me check once this is my model basically so my model here also it has to be my model basically so my model rerun okay 100 percent and then i'll come here and i will say my model dot predict class my pad so you can see here the array output is 1 and 0 why 1 because as i told you all the questions that we ask are classified as 1 all the answers that we see are classified as 0 another important thing to understand here is this this name sum and suman is a new name in this is a new word for this particular model but still model is able to process it so this is one advantage over the what to vec trained model using your own vocab okay so this is the this is how you can train your own word embedding now bigger your vocabulary is more advanced your model will be so here my vocabulary is very small so my model is not that great but you know more rich your vocab is more advanced your model will be so here i am training like this and then i am able to get the result so this is how the part two is working i mean the option two is working right training your own embedding using keras and then using it for prediction now this same can be used for document classification or logistic uh, classification scenarios or clustering of the document those kind of use cases you can use it okay what is option one option one is using pre-trained word to vec model so in option two i had used a, our own word to vec we had trained our own word to vec option one is there is a pre-trained word to vec model already present which has been trained on google news okay so this this is already available on internet what you can do is you can go to this link this link i will paste in description you can go to this link download this file once you download this file then you already have a trend model with you okay and using these words so just you have to point to that directory and that file and you have to say keywords dot load word to vec format load that model and then you can do something like pretrend model dot most similar of what are the most similar words from the word data you can do something interesting like king minus men plus women is equal to what the answer should be queen so these type of things you can do because this is a very rich model actually this can take care of most of your queries this will identify the word data this will identify the word king man queen everything okay you can try it out the reason i am not running this is this is a 3.4 gb file okay and i was getting a memory error here you can see here so i can also run if i fix it in my system but there are some important files in my c drive i wanted to move that so just download this and try to run in your machine what to vec pre-trained model okay and you have to definitely write me in comment how do you approach a classification problem using your own trend what to vec model and if you have any doubts on keras embedding model that also you can write me in comment okay i'll see you all in the next video with another interesting topic write me all your doubts all your feedbacks comments till then stay safe and take care